quite possibly the largest learning curve for new players in Mortal Kombat 1 is over-aggressive players. People who sit there and believe they're queued up for test your might, they don't even realize they're in Combat League and they press every single button on their controller at once every five seconds. I get it. Johnny Cyrax players, I'm talking to you. It's very frustrating to deal with, especially when you don't know what to do, but let me tell you something. If you know what you're doing against these over-aggressive players, these are the easiest people in the game to combo and to get easy wins on. Most players right now are way too aggressive, don't understand defense, and don't understand how to actually set up combos. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to do all those things. How to shut down over-aggressive players, how to block correctly, and how to become a defensive overlord. Let's start off with something quite important that a lot of new players miss out on, and that is mix-ups. How do I block mix-ups correctly? How do I stop getting hit with these overheads? How do I stop getting hit with these lows? It's too hard to react to. Let me show you right now. Very important step is, first of all, find the character with the best mix-ups in the game. I think Johnny Cage is definitely one of them. I'm not sure if he has the best mix, but he's definitely a great mix-up character. Find the string that is mixing you up and do it. For Johnny, that string happens to be, or one of them happens to be, forward one, two, three, forward one, two, four. Okay, so let's just do, let's just do both of those real quick. Ready? Okay, there. So now, oh. Okay, so now I know that one of them, it can be a low and it can also be an overhead. Okay. So what happens when I want to block these things? How do I guess it, right? Well, as you can see here, if you just sit there and block low, you'll block the low, but you're, you'll get full comboed if you hit the body overhead. But there's a secret, a secret that a lot of people don't tell you on how to block these things. It's that the low comes out first, okay? So if you start low, see that the low does not come out, and then decide to stand up, you can't get hit by either. Watch. So it's here. I, I, I'm low. I'm still low. Oh, I saw him jump. So the second I see him jump, I react, and I stand up. You have to not only know what the strings look like, but also how to react to them. It's kind of annoying. That's why I very much recommend taking the character that you're struggling with into practice and learning their strings. It is just as important as learning your own character. Okay, so you've blocked your opponent. How do I punish them? It feels like a lot of these attacks are unpunishable. That's because you're using the wrong strings, okay? Most characters can punish mix-ups with the right strings. For example, if Johnny Cage were to do his mix-up on me right now, and do the overhead. Uh, Reiko's forward one, two cannot connect because it, it is not fast enough. See, it, it can't connect, that's because he's not set to block. You can tell if something can punish something because it'll tell you, watch this. I'll show you in the left side, watch this. Punish, you want to look for that every single time. If you're smart and you're a smart cookie, you can use frame data to understand how that works. But most people don't want to learn that shit. We're not doing mathematics, we're playing Mortal Kombat. So what you want to do is find which strings are screwing you up and then find which ones are punishable. Great way to do this is go into playback recording. You can go ahead and look at the opponent's move list. So we can see here that this I'm not sure if frame data is fully updated yet because I know there were some issues with this when the game first came out. But it says block advantage minus four. Block advantage minus 12. Okay. Minus four means that it's completely safe. Uh, the quickest attack that I have, which is a either a standing jab or a standing one or a, a low one, is not able to hit that because it's seven frames. So I can't hit that. But as you see here, block advantage minus 12. Now, if we go back and look at Reiko, this only takes seven frames. I can hit him with that. Let's try it. Let's see if it works. Oh, hang on. I still got to... Um... There we go. Let's see if it works. Oh, that was my two. Oh, it works. Look at that. And now I get a full combo punish because I guess right. And... If you know what combo to do, it's actually decent damage. 30% off a 1-2 punish. Pretty good. And every time they do this now, you can punish them. You just got to know what string to use. It's very important to find your fastest string. That's your punish string. Every character has a punish string. You need to find it. You need to find out how to combo from it. 
that's going to help you tremendously in terms of fighting aggressive players. Because aggressive players, they use these strings. They don't even give a shit. Like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm unsafe on block. Okay, I'm going to use it again, bitch. That's just what they do. You just got to get used to it. Another great thing to do. If they have a string that is not, that is not minus 12. It's, it's minus 8. It's minus 9. Down one them. If you can't hit them with the standing one, down one them. Because what, what a down one does is, if you see right there, it says hit advantage right there in the bottom left. Hit advantage. That's 12 frames where I can now move. So let's just say this. Boom, boom, boom. If he were to down one here, he's getting punished. Like if he were to down one right here, because I'm using a mid, he were to, he's going to get punished. And some characters down ones can be... It's, it, hitboxes are wonky in this game, just know. If you want to get your turn back without hitting them with a full combo, down one is a great option. It gives you free reign to use a lot of different strings. You shouldn't be using your craziest, longest strings unless you know that you've conditioned them for that kind of stuff. But for now, I would just poke and then find a good solid mid. That is, for example, like with Reiko, I'll poke and then I'll just do this. Because if he tries to down one me, it's over. If he tries to down one me, it's over. I'm faster and I'm whooping him. Now it's also string dependent. You gotta know which strings can beat down ones. I'm actually not sure if they if they're spamming down one if this beats it, because I mean I've only tested it out online and you fuckers need to get better routers. Um But Usually, so let's just say um Let's just say how do I get him to down one me off of block. I can do I can do one of these. And then just spam down one. I hit him first and I counter him. So yes, it does. It does indeed do that. So you, this is why it's so important to go into practice and find these things out yourself. He can't down one me there. Not one bit. Faster here, faster here. Oh, you gotta be, I wasn't fast enough there, but you gotta be quicker than that. Faster here, faster here. Look at that. Perfect. There are a lot of characters in this game who are less suited for close range and want to be sitting in this mid-range aspect. They want to be they want to be stuck in this range, far away from the other enemy, using long-range attacks and poking them out. From these ranges, what you're gonna to want to do is try and learn how to wave dash. Okay, this is my normal dash right here. It's pretty slow, it's pretty clunky, it's 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 alright. But if I block, you can see I can cancel the block animation. So, let's just say someone's getting up, right? Let me set him to do a ball buster on wake up, or on get up, hang on. Uh, let's get him to do an enhanced ball buster on get up. Why is he blocking? Okay. okay. So, while this is actually punishable, anyway, you can do stuff like that. If you know that someone's going to be using their armor and it's not that good of armor, you can back dash and then hit them with a string. So let's just say hit one of these. Boom. He can't hit me there. I hit him for 30%. Same thing. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm back here. I hit him with my way longer range attack. My way longer range attack. And I just get him. Full combo. Now, Reiko, this is his best poking tool. A lot of characters have different poking tools like general shao a lot of his kit with axe a lot of pokes rain mostly pokes ashra a lot of pokes so you you're going to be wanting to play around this mid range and you're going to be wanting to learn how to wave dash and do these back dashes quickly so boom it's also like wave dashing uh frontwards is really good for closing the distance you're fighting a zoner learn how to wave dash it is it's important it's hard to do. It's 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 a difficult mechanic to get a hand handle on. But once you do, it's worth it. Because you can do big combos like that. Because I'm not expecting. Because you're all the way back here. Wave dash up there. Boom. You get him. One thing I will recommend for whiff punishing. If you are a character with long range tools and you don't understand how to get there. Use down fours or down threes. See which one of your down three or down four has the most hit, hit advantage and like seems just the fastest, seems the best. For Reiko, it's just down four. His down four is disgusting. 
When you use one of these, they're all the way out here. You can set up a little wall against them, like a literal wall where they just can't come in here because you have a bunch of lows coming in. And they're blocking that low finally. When they block that low, boom, you hit them with these. He blocks low, you just hit him with those. It's as simple as that. Yeah, but that's all you gotta do. All you need to do is focus on staying out of their range and staying in a position where you can use your down three and down four to keep them out of your range. If they keep coming at you, keep using this. And the second you hit one of these, you can also use one of your strings, one of your mid strings. If they, if you hit this and they keep coming at you, use a string. You have plus 15 hit advantage. Reiko at least that's a lot dude that's a lot of range and you can also cancel it with a, with a special move stuff like that so you can do a lot of different stuff to keep them out of your range you just gotta know what tools your character has and which ones are the best one of the most ignored parts of this entire game is getting up when you are hit down what do you do you can do so many different things you can lay there you can take a nap ski right you can do an armored wake up you can jump if you're a fucking moron you can do a lot of different things. All I'm telling you right now is you're doing the same thing over and over. Stop it. You, you, if you're clicking on this video, I know you're doing the same thing over and over. Quit. It's why you're losing. Stop using that armored move. They're blocking it every single time. And you, my friend, are getting punished for it every single time. And you need to understand how to do that against people who are doing the same thing to you. So if you're fighting someone like, uh, like Johnny Cage, right? Johnny Cage, he has this kick this annoying ass kick uh did i did i already pass it i believe i did yes he has this annoying ass kick it is quick it is deadly it is armored but if he's spamming it it is counterable if you saw right there when i blocked it it said hi okay well i didn't counter because i'm a moron but if you just sit there and duck it it is counterable Hang on. punish boom Big combination. Look at that. And hey, he's gonna he's gonna do it again. I'm smarter than him. I'm a smart cookie. Stuff like that is very, very helpful in terms of, of blocking. One thing that is incredibly important that people don't understand on wake up is how to stop getting pressured on wake up and how to do your own pressure on wake up. Let's just say you knock someone down and they're not doing anything on wake up like ever. Dude, press strength every single time. If they're just sitting there and blocking. Throw them, string them. Just keep pressing buttons because they're they're giving you free pressure. When you're when you're down here, you're actually fairly strong. You have so many different options to do. You can do an armored move. You can if you hold uh, LT or back bumper, you're able to lay down there and just sit there for a little bit longer, which really messes up a lot of people's mix-ups because they're not used to it. One thing I'm gonna recommend that you stop doing on wake up, <clears throat> maybe once or twice a game if you're feeling frisky. <clears throat> stop jumping jumping is incredibly incredibly punishable in this game let me just do one johnny cage jump real quick <clears throat> it's just simple a nice little jump ski a nice little jump ski leads you life in prison okay it leads you life in prison because any jump you can't block you're stuck there if you jump on someone, especially someone like Reiko with a disgusting anti-air, you're just, you're, you're stuck. You're literally, like I said, life, life sentence. Because you are letting yourself not block. Only, you only have one option in the air. Unless you're playing someone with an air special move who can teleport like Reptile. You can only punch them or you cannot punch them. And guess what? This game also has air blocking. So even if you want to kick them, oh, I'm still unsafe. Jumping is not nearly as good as it in this game as it was in previous Mortal Kombat titles. So I would, like I said, recommend sticking to more of a grounded game plan in terms of footsies. Every single time he gets caught by this. I mean, it is an AI doing the same thing over and over, but still, every single time they will get caught by those things. I'm telling you, it's as simple as that. This is a bit more of an advanced topic, but it is incredibly, incredibly useful in this meta. The entire Mortal Kombat Combat League meta right now is all about chip damage and getting chipped out. But there is a secret that no one is really utilizing right now because it's difficult to do and it's kind of hard to execute, which is flawless blocking. Some characters have gaps in their moves, including Baraka, who is chipping everybody out, where you can flawless block. So let me just show you right now. 
the difference in flawless blocking and normal chip damage. So let's just have him do his little block strength. I'm almost dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Look how much damage it says 10%. I'm dead. If I'm in a if I'm in an online match, I die here. But if I learn how to flawless block this, if you see right there, right? One, two, one, two, three, four. There's a tiny little gap there. What you're gonna wanna do is, is release block and hit it the second he hits you. It is difficult timing, but I just did it there and I took no more chip damage. I survived that. Look, it's hard to do, but it's rewarding. You should go for it whenever you can. I don't die here and I can back up. I can continue doing my stuff. I'm not dead. That is so important. Go for this anytime you can online. It doesn't even, you're gonna die here anyway. So if you're gonna die, die with some grace, release block, and go for it. There is no point in not trying to flawless block this, especially when you're this low. And it's very important. Try to go for this gap every time. Release block the second, boom, release. Release block the second he stops hitting you, and then try to hit it. I'd recommend going in practice mode like I am right now and just doing this over and over. It is difficult, but you'll get the timing eventually. You'll get hit every now and then, but eventually you will flawless block it. And once you're able to bring this out, boom, once you're able to bring this out online, that's when it really matters. When you're able to flawless block Baraka's online, you're no longer getting chipped out for 10% every five seconds. You're gonna have fun again. You're gonna enjoy Mortal Kombat. You're gonna, they're gonna open up the windows in the morning and see the birds chirping. You're gonna like life again because you're no longer getting killed by Baraka's when you have 30% health left and you're blocking every move he uses, okay? You're not gonna do that anymore. <laughs> oh, he's made of stone. That's what your opponents are gonna be like from now on. You understand me? Every single attack they're gonna throw at you is blocked, is stopped. It hits the concrete wall. That is how you ascend to Godhood, okay? I'm intense about this. I love defense. Defense is how you win games. Defense is the best offense in this. If you want to hit those combos, you're going to want to defend. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope this, this helped your gameplay out somehow. Defense is a super important aspect that I hope people will start paying more attention to after this video. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments about... about this game so far, how it feels. I think the defense offense flow is really fun. The most fun I've had in Mortal Kombat in a decade, it feels like. So all I can say, I mean, really, I can't say that Mortal Kombat X came out a decade, more less than a decade ago. So what I want to say is thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, please consider giving me a subscribe. Give me a like, give me a comment. <clears throat> Let me know. Follow me on Twitch at Big Flounder. I am live every single day streaming Mortal Kombat. So please give me a follow there. And I will catch you all in the next video. Peace out.